So you know when you have a dream and you're you have this good good dream, right? You're okay. feeling good, you're happy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even know that it's a dream. And then all of a sudden you wake up. Uh-huh. And then you, you realize how you know it's, it was a, it was all a dream and everything sucks and you're not as happy as you you know you are anymore because whatever it is that you was experiencing in that dream isn't the same from reality. So basically you were, your happiness was like at a nine in the dream. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you, you wake up and it's like, whoop, oh, it's a four. It's only a four. Life sucks after all. <laughs> uh, I don't, so that's I don't I, know. Like <laughs> when was the last time you had that kind of dream? last night or this last night <laughs> literally last night i was like yeah. i was having this good dream man well and i was uh, and it's not even because it's not even i'm not trying to complain about my life right now my, my life's pretty my cool right you're fine yeah. like my fine my, my life's pretty good at the current moment it's just that in the dream mm -hmm. it was it was a lot you know it was a lot nicer it was a lot better but, exactly but when you say a lot better what made it a lot better though um uh it's because i <laughs> let, let, me, let me see if i can say this out loud <laughs> is it like something um is this are you are you about to talk about some pg-18 kind of stuff or is oh, it yeah. more of like a life in general no, it's it's no, it's peach. Everything was PG. It's just that it's okay. Let's just put it this way: in the dream, mm -hmm. some something that I desire, I already have, or I I was in the process of having. Okay. In the dream, mm -hmm. but like you know, in reality, it's it's not like you're you're so, like you're far off from from whatever yeah, that it, thing is. Yeah. For example, it's like in the dream, like in a dream. You know, I like, I like, I love Coke, right? I love Coca-Cola, yeah. but I specifically, I specifically love the Coke from the Philippines because you put that in a little plastic soup, oh. you, plastic you pour bag. that in this plastic bag, you put the straw and you drink it. Oh, so good. Guys, if you guys haven't been to the Philippines or whoever, people that grew up here and haven't experienced that, if you ever go back to the motherland, I, you need to try that. Like, it, you know what? It just the, it just it, hit differently. You know what I mean? Well, it just hit different. Well, it's so the, good. The, the first reaction is probably going to be like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do that?" Right? It's it's one of those. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how everyone would react, right? Um, like, why would you put it in a plastic bag? It's it's a drink should drink it in a bottle or it's called you know, being put it in the smart comment, right no um, because in the field it's like you, you, people don't trust people you can't trust nobody like what are they, what are they gonna do with that bottle you just throw it away do whatever with it you gotta keep the bottle son <laughs> that's a deposit <laughs> the bottle and make more money you gotta keep, exactly um, exactly well that's how it rolls so, back home but let's go back to yeah. to your dream though um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> You, you go go ahead and uh, but, but, go ahead and Sigmund Freud me. Well, the, Ask me the some thing is, Mr. Right, um, but when you are having that kind of dream, don't you like ask yourself if this is kind of too good to be true? You know what I mean? Like sometimes when I have those kind of dreams, I step back and be like, "It's a dream, man. <laughs> Let's end this now. I gotta get up and face reality." You be, you be quiet. <laughs> Let, let me leave my let, let me live my dream i don't want i don't want i don't i don't want you to have this look needle and popping my balloon let, let me live in my balloon but that's what i do I even let pop me live my in own my balloons, balloon man. right that's you you're stupid <laughs> you go live your own harsh reality i want to live in my and, my and fantasy the, and, and here's the other thing like recently well not recently like lately when it comes to dreams there was a point, well, I'd say two, three months ago, like I've been having a lot of, you know, dreams as well, but um, like weird kind of dreams, you know, like talking about like me having some superpower or there was this some dude that I wanted to um, 
not fu- like I wanted to be kind of like his assistant because he's had some superpower or something. You, know, wanted to have that. you you almost said you wanted to f this dude. You <laughs> no. you was the gay dream. Um, Just admit it. Just admit no. it. Who no. was it? Um, wait wait. Who who was this dude? Do I know him? I have no idea. Like I didn't even know what he looked like. Had? But he had sexual the de- sexual desires for oh, this no, dude. Oh no! Like this dude has some, um, like you know. He can listen to people's thoughts, I guess. Um, and Is it that Edward time, from Twilight? Uh, no, I think that was the time when. No, it's not the time when, but the, I have a. I find empathy to be very important, something that I really value. That's probably why that uh, my unconscious mind created that kind of dream because it's something that I wanted to have. And, um, and speaking of unconscious. Uh, your unconscious mind that's what that's what dreams are really like the people in your dream um, whoever they are they're not you're not the same people that you know they're just the representation of uh something inside of you no i refuse to believe that i refuse to believe that stop it that's uh stop it. i don't want i don't i, I don't want to hear that I don't want to hear your. I don't want to hear your your scientific reasons. <laughs> they're not even. Let, they're probably not even scientific, right? But can I let me live in my denial? My goodness. Anyways, oh. balik balik bayan box. Ralph Balindong. Ramon Reyes. <laughs> Talking about dreams. Uh, I know dream. It's, dream, it's weird, dream, though, right? Dreams. Like, and, and there are some people who, like you know, who's into kind of like not into dreams but they look at dreams as if like it's something that's telling it's kind of like a prophecy like you know how the prophets back in the day you know you dream about an angel telling you this and that some people inter- interpret their dreams the same way you know those prophets back in the day are interpreting their dreams which is not which is not accurate <laughs> No, I disagree. Uh, I disagree. I disagree because who are you to tell how someone like wants to live their lives? You know, if if that's how they want to make their no, dreams. Wait, wait. Let me let me let me finish my point. Okay. If that if their dreams gives them reason to justify whatever they're trying to make with their lives, who are you to say that? Oh, that's not accurate. Like, that's just something that you know. It's just respect it. They gotta do what they gotta do. Right, but they could that's be all it is. Son. But they, they could be headed to a direction that might not be beneficial for them. Are you talking they about not to that dream? I'm not talking Are you specifically about talking about me? <laughs> you butthole! You bully! <laughs> No, wait. Before before we continue this uh, this conversation, let me go ahead and talk about um, a little bit of uh, what happened house, last house week? cleaning. I mean, not not what happened last week, but what happened with the last episode from last week. Okay. Remember when we talked about how I wanted to know how other people's how many episodes have they listened to and stuff, and you know, yeah, I was talking yeah. about yeah, just 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 message me whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I've had a couple that actually like messaged me about how many uh, how many episodes they've listened to. <laughs> hey, don't laugh yet. You don't know. I'm, the not, answer. I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm not laughing. It's I'm, just that I'm surprised I'm, too. I'm laughing. I, me too. I was. Right? I was surprised. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you two guesses to. Well, it's two people that did message me. So I'm gonna give you two guesses to how many episodes they've listened to. Uh, I'd say oh, oh, between four and uh, between four and seven for that one person. Yeah, or both. Oh, okay. What I'll about say. I'll person? say. I'll. You know what? I'm gonna say for both. Four and seven. Max. Four and seven. Yeah, seven would be your max. Eh, wrong on both. Really? Like how far yeah. off am I? Okay. From my guess. Well, one one of them, not that far. Uh, okay. This person, oh, this person, this person listened to three. Oh, okay. Three episodes, and this person was like, "I listened to a pretty a, a good amount." This person was like, "I listened to like uh, at least an hour." 
I'm like, oh, wow. right, this, this was some, this was some. Oh, that's pretty good. So, like, I, I'm surprised. An hour of yeah, us talking? About an hour. About an hour. Oh, I guess it depends on the topic that we're talking about, right? If they can relate exactly, to it, they're exactly. probably going to listen. Yeah. And that's exactly. all. Of, yeah. But well, anyways. Oh, that's good. And, and, and the other person, you would not be surprised because you said four to seven. Yeah. 18 episodes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> but when they listen to those eight, 18 episodes, are, are they just listening to like the first, uh, you know, I was like, two minutes? Five it? minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, okay, I'm not really no, 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 not, no, not no, filling no. it. I'm, I'm, I'm not filling I'm this kidding. episode, so I must get. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Like most of them, because I think not all of them have heard, you know, not, not almost heard from us. We're not famous, whatever. But mm-hmm. as far as, like with the Facebook group or the Instagrams, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them haven't really seen us until like lately. They've only like heard that we, oh, you guys do a little podcast? Yeah. Like two two months ago. So w- basically what it is, is they would listen to whatever the current episode. Uh, and then okay. they're like, oh, there's more. Oh, this is episode... 15 there's 14 more before this oh let me check some of that you know yeah oh that's pretty cool and and they also said something about and we've we've already agreed to this and just i just haven't been late we've been lazy and we haven't been really structured as far as how we do our episodes they like uh, they like the shorter content they like the the clip outs and we we know this i i knew that i kind i kind of knew that too it's just that, yeah. guys, it takes a lot of freaking work to do that. Not, a, yeah, not for me, takes, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're talking. It takes a lot. Of, it takes a lot of work. Because like, I'm creating like, content myself. It's just... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, yeah. So, yeah, bear with us. I mean, we appreciate the support. Mm-hmm. And the course. feedback. Just Those are the kind of feedbacks that we, um, you know, we're looking for. Exactly. So, but we're also gonna work so, on. Yeah. You be quiet. You shut up. <laughs> we'll um, see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that thing goes. But for now, yeah, we're just gonna. Talk. Yeah, for, keep we're talking, just gonna I guess. do. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Uh, also, I don't know if you noticed it. A lot for some reason. Do you go to the Facebook um, group? No. You, you don't. You don't check it. Well, the, the only time I, I, I would go on there is if I'm posting an episode, right? That's the only time. Right? Okay. Otherwise, I'm not well actively checking it. I don't. I don't either. I check it every once in a while. But like the last time I checked it, I, I want you to look at it too. Like, because you can see like the number of, of engagements between like posts or oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you can't. You can see that as well. I right? can see that. I think I can see Pretty that. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if you look at the last episode that was posted, there was the the numbers of engagement have gone like high. It's interesting. It's interesting how you say that because even I kind of listened to that our last episode there, mm-hmm. and um, I found myself wanting to listen to it. Let's go. <laughs> Which you know is in why? my head. I was like, hmm. you know why? You know why, Ramon? Because it was fun. It wasn't just this deep, boring. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it's not that. It's because like people hey. can relate to whatever the whatever we're talking about at that time like even got my hey you're talking about you being i'm I'm, I'm sorry keep going keep going or if you guys want to find out just click on that you know watch the watch the episode so you guys know exactly heck we're talking about yeah but yeah like even a friend of mine like you know i I let her know about um our little podcast and just like oh i subscribe so "Hmm." cool but i don't know if she subscribed out of um out of a favor or if, it's, if she really wanted to listen to the podcast um but it doesn't matter she subscribed whatever that's the, yeah yeah that's the thing you, um, you just gotta get you just gotta get him to cross the bridge first and then mm-hmm. it's up to you it's up to us if they decide you know if they're they, yeah they, if they vibe with us or whatever if, if they vibe with how what we're about yeah but yeah it, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting how, like, you know, the number of uh, engagement has gone up. And even I, myself, mm-hmm. when I was listening to it, I'm like, hmm. 
because really like you and I talking I don't really <laughs> it's not something that I like, go back to and you know, <laughs> maybe I should just you know kind of um see that's the problem listen to you. my you, own you, thoughts yeah you you ha- it's, you don't you don't listen back to it to for like rarely rarely sake. rarely no 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 i'm saying you, you don't do that because you're being vain or you're you're yeah, like oh let me just listen to let me just listen to myself talk no it's more like uh constructive criticism like i listen like this is what i do i i listen back at least once on every episode oh so wow I can, uh, yeah so like when i'm like working out doing whatever i just put it on and just listen to it what i do oh, okay. is what I would do is I would listen to both of us and I would listen to, our, okay, so this like technical stuff, basically, like fundamental stuff, like how do we talk to each other over each other a lot? Do we, are we still uh, mm, mm, doing this? Do we, or do we have those dead silences, right? Those awkward silences where you and I run out of, you know, stuff to blurb about. Exactly. But, and I, I, the, but the main thing is, but the main thing that I, I, I listen to is the chemistry. Like, how is the conversation going? Like, does the conversation... Because I look at it in terms of, let's say, like a scale of 1 to 10 or 0 to 10 mm-hmm. of inter- interestingness. I'm just going to use that mm-hmm. term. If something... If the conversation is interesting to me mm-hmm. as a listener. Yeah. And for myself, it's always going to be regardless of the concept regardless of what we're talking what someone is talking about mm-hmm. if they're having fun doing it mm-hmm. i i'm more inclined to listen to enjoy that rather than something that's not fun and it's like just deep and educational i mean i have school for that i have like npr for that it, it's so, it, it yeah no totally it, understand what you're saying and it, uh, and I also like, I, but at the same time, I agree with, not, not I agree, I I see where, where you're coming from as far as, of course, like things has to be intellectual and things has to like stimulate us intellectually in order for us to keep going as well. But yep. I, I, I want to strive for that balance between just, we're just BSing around, but at the mm-hmm. same time, we'll, we'll split a switch and we'll talk about something. Yeah, that's, it, it's it's that's sort amazing. of like, it's that balance right which is hard exactly it, it's kind of hard to strike because you don't want to go too deep and too serious because then it's just boring too I, like i i totally get that um you don't want to be a snore face. But, but it but i want to re-emphasize what you said about um like you know being passionate or having fun that's really like body language if you think about it because if you the if, if you're having fun then it'll show it'll show in the show and you can drag people to have fun as well you know in the conversation it's the same thing with pretty much anything like i'm sure it's the same way when you're writing a song or when you're making writing a music or creating music right same thing with when i'm writing if if i'm if i'm not having fun writing this article then it turns into work and it you know like the the product just comes off as um it's not going to, like, the quality is not as great because you're forced into uh, creating it. You know what I mean? Or my, mm-hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah. You totally can always, agree. you can always just use, like, motivational speakers as an example. Or not just motivational, but just any type of charismatic personality who can mm-hmm. convince a lot of people, like, things. The more confident you are and the more confident you are at whatever the heck you're talking about, even if you don't know much about it, mm-hmm. it carries over. Like people will gravitate towards that confidence and that that swag, that's charm. Yeah. Rather than if you flip that, if you flip that to someone who's very educated, who's very like he knows his stuff, but he's as far as like interestingness like he's at a one out of ten he'll he'll still pull people of course because of his content of what he's talking about but initially Just intellectuals though right yeah but initially it's hard right it's intellectual it's hard for you him to pull people because people are like what is being boring as fuck bro like i don't want like it's the same thing that i feel like when i listen to someone who's like knowledgeable but like just wagging their finger on you 
Yeah, I'm like, bro, like, I, I, no, not just that. It's just like if someone is just, I, I am full of facts, and I, I know so many things. That, that. I can, I can lecture you and talk to you about the Himalayan mountains for like ten hours. Bro, I don't care. I'd rather listen to this dude who knows a little bit of it for 10 minutes and can make me laugh or whatever. <laughs> move on with and my just, life. <laughs> move on with my life. I don't give a fuck about Himalayan mountains anyways. I must have it for like 10 minutes, son. It's those Himalayan salts, man. It's um, but They're not, probably not like a lie. game changer. <laughs> not going to lie. Not Himalayas, but uh, the Appalachians. Do you know what Appalachians are? No. Uh, no. It's... Is the mountain range from not mountain? It's in whatever, Mexico? whatever it is. It, no, dude, it's in the East Coast. Here it goes. It starts from Georgia. It uh-huh. goes all the way to around Canada. I, I no, not Maine. So it's the whole East Coast of America. Okay. And there's a famous trail, the App- the Appalachian Trail, and people actually trek that for like six, seven months straight from Georgia to like Maine. Oh wow. Yeah, and I actually wanted to do that. For Seven us, months, I mean, though. Yes, yeah, str- like not straight, but you, you know, because you pass by like little towns here and there, so you can right. like stock up, do whatever. But as far like, it's very, it's basically straight because you just you right. don't work. You do that, that exactly. That's the first thing that comes into mind is seven months straight, and you know, like the income and all that other stuff. It's probably going to be cheap. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, but low low key, a lot of people should have done that during this pandemic. I just thought about that. This would, really, this was this would have been the perfect time to do it for people that lost their jobs or didn't have like jobs, or whatever. And then it's the perfect because you can't be around people anyway, so you might as well be one with nature. You know. <laughs> you know what? You just fucking let me just be with nature. <laughs> be one with nature. No, no you job. Like, you know, like if I just <laughs> yeah, uh, I want to say hitchhike, but. You know, no, no. I guess it. I guess it's fun that way. I, I get it, but but if you have a family or kids to support, <laughs> screw option. them. Leave them home and let them die. <laughs> let them starve to death. <laughs> I'm kidding. Teach them fasting, fasting uh-huh. for seven months. Remember the Spartans when they would like when a kid is like abnormal, abnormal or like uh, disfigured, whatever. They would like throw them off in the mountain. It's oh, basically them show, sh- it's just showing three hundred because I don't like I don't know. Yeah, it's like this. You know Spartans, like like yeah, I know Spartans. Uh, like I know I've I've seen the movie Three Hundred, but I don't know if you're if they showed it there. You know how you know, how Spartans, uh, Spartans were. I'm yeah, I'm not sure if they showed it. They might have, but it, it's like based on real real thing. Like that's real history that people would do yeah. that back in the day. They're, those it's guys are very, pretty harsh though. They're pretty hardcore. Yeah, they are. It's, I mean, it's an act of mercy on their end. Kind of like, we don't think you can, you can survive. So, especially our customs of Spartans. So we're just gonna kill you. Yeah, it's coming from a place of mercy, but like, it's really not. It's like it, it really depends bro, on how like, you. It really depends on how you view it, right? Like, because then if they, this is gonna sound really bad, but if. Let's say they let this person live. Well, he's pretty much useless. Probably, probably useless in battle. In, right? Yeah, in their culture, he's like in their, in their culture. What's right? he gonna it's, do? What's he gonna do? But sometimes you just never know, though. Like, he, like this, this figured guy could be like the smartest dude that ever lived in their in their race. I don't know. Right. Um, so there's that other side of it too. But I, yeah. I kind of get what they're what they're talking about. It's kind of like Hitler-like if you think about it, because they just want to be, be the, the ex, elites, ex, right? Explain that. Explain the Hitler type. What do you mean? Well, here's how I understand uh, when it's a Hitler like. Like for me, Hitler wanted to get rid of um, people that are not elite. That's how I viewed him. You know, like if you're if you're weak, if you're a weak race or something, if you're not part of the elites. Like it's best to get rid of you and just keep the, uh, you know, like the strong ones. Get rid of the weak and keep the strong ones. That way you can create a like a strong, I don't know, group of people or group a strong nation, something like that. That's what I meant. 
So I think the Spartans are probably doing the same thing. Like, you know, they are known for their, um, the, their, I don't know, strength or courage or whatever you want to call it. Military prowess. Sure. Um, so yeah. So if they want to keep that yeah. that brand or that integrity, then you, they have to, you know, do things to 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 keep it. Because that's how they survive. That's how they're known today. Well, so, you're, to... so basically you're saying that your friend who has the shakes, they would have thrown him off the cliff. <laughs> that, <laughs> depends. Him off. that depends. That it's depends. It's like the baby you... coming, the baby's coming out, the move. <laughs> like it's like, oh, this this dude gotta go. This dude gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like kill this shaking uh, baby off the yeah. cliff. Oh, uh, we well, never know. Like he could like, you know, with the with the shakes, he could like sw- swim himself to the shore and back to uh, another, um, you know, <laughs> and probably he save himself. Been, <laughs> he would have been cool. He would have been so good with that Harlem shake. <laughs> Do the Harlem shake. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyways, what were we talking about? That's a joke, about? guys. Like, fine. Just take, no, take too seriously. no, it's not a joke. We're, we're, we're all serious. We mean, we mean everything. <laughs> <laughs> I also like did, that's what, did, that's what I, did the lightning dude, just hit him? What, no, he just, he just <laughs> no, no, he's not shaking. He's trying to avoid it. You don't see it. He's trying to avoid. He's trying to avoid the lightning. It's like Neo from the Matrix, but faster. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, that's um, like five billion. You know, lightning strikes. Mm-hmm. You avoid in a second. Guys, we do this out of love. We just we, we, we don't try to make fun of you. We make fun with you. No, it's not. It's not this, this ain't nothing. Right. It's the it's um it's my it's, <laughs> we haven't even talked about what we did this week, but it's been my mood since like last episode because you know the last episode is called intentionally offensive. So right. <laughs> I've been I've been kind of offensive this whole entire time. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Like we're laughing now because it's it's fucking funny, and then yes. you know you you start it off, and then after a while you come up with you know funnier scenarios. That exactly. That involves yeah, you just shaking. one up each other. Uh-huh. It involves shaking. Uh, oh, exactly. No, but uh. it, I don't know. Like to me, comedy <laughs> comedy is supposed to be like kind of. Kind of inappropriate, right? You know, if it's not inappropriate, then it's not comedy. Like, it, I don't laugh, but like, just I don't know. lame hey, jokes. Could you, could you see yourself right now? I think there's like a tear in your eye that just came out there. I, I, I know. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> I was crying and I was laughing. I, I didn't even think you could see it. Oh, no, I can um, see it. I was like, what the hell? Um, that was funny. Anyways, so anything interesting that happened this week? Not much. Uh, not not much with me. It's just. <laughs> hey, buddy, how, 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 how has it been shaking lately? <laughs> uh, not a lot of shaking this uh, this week. Other than work, it's just there's there isn't really much. Nothing fun, mm. at least. But I don't know about what about you. Uh, let me see. Besides my good ass dream from last night, mm-hmm. let's see what else has happened. Oh, it's just been work's been crazy busy. It's you know I love this place, I love Florida. I am steadily getting acclimated with the culture of the of the Floridians here because I, I don't know if I um I told you the place that I stay at here, not the mm-hmm. place that I stay. The town city that I live at, mm-hmm. uh, they call it Little Puerto Rico because there's a, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans live here, and just just Hispanics in general. It's mm-hmm. like a lot. So like that's that's I've been like entrenched with that culture. <laughs> Most of my new friends are all like Hispanics, so. Oh, wow. I've been just getting into like that culture and it's, it's, I love it. Like it's, everything's so fresh. Everything's new. I, you know, 
learning salsa there or something? No. I I actually did. I went to this <laughs> one one gathering. One this was I forgot to tell you. I just can't picture you fucking this. dancing. I forgot to share this to you. Like I, I believe it was like last month. We had like a uh, like a gathering, whatever. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of dancing bro like hispanic people could move well i know i know i know i know so that's why i brought that up yeah so i'm this dude like you know i suck at dancing i don't know how to dance but i'm like i'll I'll learn i'll make a fool of myself and like they're not like they're not gonna yeah it's not making a fool out of yourself though i totally understand what you're saying but it's not making a fool out of yourself yeah it'll look funny but yeah exactly I look like the guy. I was shaking. I was shaking on the dance floor. Um, it was. Wow. It was. You know, the girls was like the girls were were having fun with it because they were like, "Oh, you're so bad." But here, let me teach you. Come on, I'll dance with you. And I was yeah. just like, you know, yeah, girl, yeah, teach, teach, teach me how to dance, old master. Let me do them sh- shakes. <laughs> was it was it a grandma yeah. who asked you? No, it's my my coworkers. <laughs> okay. Just yeah funny. it's yeah it, so yeah just just acclimating with the culture everything like i love it like i love it over here that's good yeah well it's, it's something new right like if it's new then i think that i find that to be like a good thing it, it's mm-hmm, it's more mm-hmm. um so what else other than other than that uh mm-hmm. what else has happened mm-hmm. I'm like having a, oh yeah, it's just, it's just like new people. Like I've, you know, hung out with people here. Oh, bro. What's in the box, Ramon? We haven't reached in the box for a good bit now. So what's up? I don't know. Like the 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 contents of the box are pretty stale right now. (laughs) Not sure what to pick. Um, Hmm. I don't know. Unless oh, okay. Here, here you go. Let, let, let me let me ask you this: Are you do you love Filipino food? I know this is such a weird question to ask. It is so it's but... a weird question. Yeah, like the answer is, I guess so. Yes, I eat it pretty much every day. Would mm. I call it love? Eh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, because because do you think the reason why you love it is because you eat it every day? <laughs> right it's like <laughs> chicken and egg egg and chicken the reason i'm well, asking is because yeah. i had a conversation with this with this exact topic this morning with a friend of mine who's filipina but she's she was born in the Philippines, but she moved here when she was like five or four or like yeah. really something like really young and she's okay. like to be honest i'm not into filipino food oh really and what is she into then like western in general yeah, just Western, food like, like food in general, <laughs> just not Filipino. Like she's she look. That's the thing. Like she's not one of those typical like. Oh yeah, I just like American food, like you know, Westernized foods, whatever, whatever. Just like whatever. She's, she's she's also into like Korean food, so it's not well, like. But, a, but, but here's my here's my, the question that I'm gonna ask her. Like, what about her parents? Right, like, do they cook Filipino food every day, or bro, just I probably don't know one of those? All these cool, all these answers. Yeah, to these but but questions. they they're all factors, right? Yeah, well, well, the reason the reason why I'm like the main the main reason I'm asking that is because myself, mm-hmm. if you ask me if I love yeah. Filipino food, I it's okay. Like, yeah. I like Filipino food. I don't love it. I like it. And yeah, I, li- I like. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm the, the same the way. reason. Yeah, the reason why I it's even high in that list because li- like to me on a scale of one to ten, like is like between five to seven love is between eight to ten and everything Mm -hmm. else is in the bottom the reason why it's even that high on my list that that i like it is because for two reasons one it's you know it's it's home it's nostalgia it's how we grew up Mm -hmm. you know i i grew up eating that so of course whenever i eat it like it's familiar to me like oh this tastes good because i've always known that this is good you know, I was right. trained to like it. And mm-hmm. two, it's because I don't eat it as much. Like, I don't, I eat oh, it like I guess so, yeah. once, once in two months, if I'm lucky. Right, right. 
So well, I eat it every day, you know, so I'm pretty indifferent. Exactly. So I wonder yeah. if there's there's people that are and then I'm not just talking about Filipino food for Filipinos. Like anybody who who's like uh what ethnic mm-hmm. ethnicity is like not the traditional whatever. Like yeah, if you're a Thai, do you like Thai Thai food? All that right. you know, it's just one of those things. And I feel I feel like. If you're in the Philippines, it's kind of out of the question. Of course, you're gonna, it's, it's what you eat. You know, it's, yeah. it's something that you just, it's just something that you eat on a daily basis. Like, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't like it, but I eat it every day. So what's going to happen? And plus, yeah, it's just familiarity, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I hate it when people are like, oh, you don't like Filipino food. Oh, you're too good for it now. No, it's not. That's not it. That's not the reason. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying I don't like Filipino. I keep saying I don't like, I don't, I don't say I don't prefer it because I'm good. I'm better than you or whatever. It's not, it's just, it's a preference. And it's, I'm just being honest with myself. That's all it is. Yeah. So that's, man, good talk. That's what it is. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> um, you know what, guys? Um, I gotta go. Um, so we're gonna have to like cut this off. And, short like, episode. Work. Yeah, short, short episode. episode. Like Just Ramon's. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Like people. People. Some people. Like I'm busy. Everyone's busy. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, but guys. Please, thanks for. Yeah. Please check us out. Just subscribe. You know, mm-hmm. check the Instagrams. Check the Facebooks. And we'll yeah. see you soon. You guys know, like, you know, it'll come out Sunday, whatever. Right? Sunday. On Sundays, that's when it's... I thought you gotta go. Bye. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>